Voters in New Hampshire came here to see Democratic Congresswoman and presidential candidate Tulsi Gabbard at a town hall event. The Democratic Congresswoman from Hawaii spoke to a packed House of New Hampshire voters just days after U.S. forces killed Iranian Commander Qasem Soleimani, a decision the Congresswoman was highly critical of. Gabbard is the only candidate running who was served in combat. And what is going on right now is the perfect example of what happens when you have a commander-in-chief who does not have that experience, who lacks that understanding, that foresight, that ability to look and say, okay, if we take this action, here are what the likely consequences of that will be. Gabbard also answered questions from the crowd about immigration reform, the protection of LGBT rights, American relations with Israel, and the cost of health care. Despite Gabbard's struggles against top-tier candidates in recent New Hampshire polls, she's trying to generate support across the aisle. She called for bipartisan work to solve the problems in Iran. We are where we are. Congress must act immediately and in a bipartisan way in the interests of our country and our national security interests to prevent further escalation of this war with Iran. And this man, who voted for President Trump in 2016, called himself an avowed Gabbard supporter for 2020. And again, much of Gabbard's town hall tonight focused on foreign policy. Her big takeaway tonight, we cannot have a commander-in-chief who reacts largely based on emotion and revenge. For Politics Fits You and NBC10 Boston, I'm Paul Lambert.